Hey guys, Mr. Jalapeno here with another DIY. And on today's project, we're going to be addressing this seam here on the baseboard. The homeowners had a little bit of the baseboard replaced here in this area. They did not like how that seam looked, so I'm going to make it look better. So first thing you want to do is lay down some blue tape and plastic. That way you don't make a mess. The homeowners really appreciate this, and it doesn't take too long, so I don't mind doing it. Next, go ahead and grab a sanding paper and sand down that seam. I'm using 120 grit sanding paper. It's just going to help smooth everything out. And as you can see, the nail holes still need to be filled. And what I'm going to use for that is this Crawford's Painter's Putty. You could use a putty knife or you could also use your finger like I'm doing here. And once I'm done applying the putty, I go ahead and sand it down. That way you're not going to see those nail holes anymore. I like using that 120 grit sanding paper because it's not too, too rough. So I recommend it. And once you're done with all that, it's time to apply the ready patch. You can also use Bondo in this step if you want to finish it a little bit quicker. And as you can see, I'm just applying the ready patch with my two inch putty knife. Then I go over it with my six inch to smooth everything out. You can also use a 10 inch drywall knife, but with the six inch and the two inch, you should be fine. And there you go. Look, that's the first coat. It does look a little bit rough. It's kind of like a rough draft. But once it dries, go ahead and sand it down again. And then I'm going to do a second coat. Just make sure you do a thin coat on your second coat. That way it's not going to be bumpy. I then went ahead and cocked that inside corner where the two baseboards meet. And after the second coat dries, go ahead and sand it down again. But this time I'm using a 220 grit sanding paper. And as you can see, there's a crack where the baseboard meets the wall. So what we're going to do here is put a little bit of blue tape. I applied it about a 16th of an inch away from the baseboard. That way you're going to have nice straight lines. Now just go ahead and caulk it and then just make sure you remove any of the excess caulk. And now it's time to paint. You're going to want to let the caulking dry for about 30 minutes before you start painting. That way you don't dig out the caulk from the crack when you're painting. Just be careful not to dig out that caulk with the paintbrush because you're going to have a crack still there. So the baseboards here were spray painted. The homeowner didn't want any brush marks. So usually what I do is I get a foam roller. I also add a little bit of Floetrol to the paint because this foam roller does leave a little bit of a texture. But that Floetrol will look like if it was sprayed. And now you could go ahead and remove the blue tape. So if you found any value in this video, don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to get any of the tools or materials that I use here in this video, you could go to my Amazon storefront. But anyways, as you saw there, I did have to touch up the wall a little bit, but the homeowner had the paint and that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if maybe you would have done this differently. I'm always willing to learn and that's it. Jalapeno Solutions. Boom.